Harry Redknapp, 75, spoke about Matt Hancock, 44, and his decision to join ITV's I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here! Despite an outcry from the public and some of his fellow MPs, the football manager admitted he felt like the public were keen to watch the former health secretary suffer during the jungle trials. Harry competed in I'm a Celeb back in 2018 and went on to be crowned king of the jungle after proving popular with the public. In a new interview, the star was asked what he thought of Matt joining the show when people felt he should be at home working for his constituents. Yeah, I think lots of people did think he should be at home, the star reflected. He was always going to get picked for every trial, Harry admitted. People wanted to see him suffer. I suppose lots of politicians have done different reality TV shows like Strictly, the football legend added. So he's not the first, but he's going to get some grief over it, that's for sure. Harry was then quizzed about what it takes to win the show after his victory four years ago. It's quite tough. Everything you see is how it is, Harry reflected. The facilities are dreadful, the food is horrendous, the toilets are disgusting, you get rained on at night. But you do make some great friends, the star added fondly in his interview with Radio Times. The runner-up on Harry's series was the in-betweeners actress Emily Atak, while Doctor Who actor John Barrowman came in third place. Fleur East, who came in fourth place, is currently competing on this year's series of Strictly Come Dancing. Harry went on to add that there were loads of interesting characters in this year's lineup. This year, some of them are high-profile campmates in the jungle include singer Boy George, DJ Chris Moyles and Loose Women star Charlene White. The football legend even went on to single out former rugby pro Mike Tindall as a great guy, describing the star as tough as old boots. Harry is an English former football manager and player, who previously managed AFC Bournemouth, West Ham United, Portsmouth, Southampton, Tottenham Hotspur, Queen's Park Rangers, and Birmingham City. In his second spell at Portsmouth, Harry managed the side that won the 2008 FA Cup and in the following year, he guided Tottenham into the UEFA Champions League. Read the rest of this exclusive copy in this week's copy of Radio Times. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Airs every night at 9pm on ITV.